Hey guys, Peyton here, and I'm super excited for today's video. We are going to be doing an email design tutorial. It's been a hot minute, so I'm really excited to jump into this one. And today we're gonna to be using my idea inbox templates. Now, if you don't know what the idea inbox is, imagine getting three super awesome customizable e-commerce centric email templates that you can edit in either Figma or Canva to your inbox each month. So I send you three of those, a swipe drive, and even next month's email content calendar. So that way you can plan ahead. So if you haven't checked out the idea inbox, I highly recommend you do. I have a free template that you can go grab in the link below. But today I'm gonna show you our February templates, take one of them and use an actual brand's assets to plug it in to show you exactly how easy it's gonna be to use. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. All right, here we have our three templates for February. And the one that I am gonna focus on today is gonna be this one here. So it's a bit of a really like nice lifestyle image up at the top. We have our CTA nice and high. And then we kind of go into a bit of a review rating, a you know, uh, very kind of focused feature here with a final CTA. Nothing crazy about this template, super simplified, easy to the point. We can put someone forward onto the site right away, but if they want to get a review or a special feature, we have that section here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to clone this over into this board here. And the brand that I'm going to focus on, I stumbled upon this one in Milled and it's a beverage brand. But what's interesting is I feel like their templates right now are very simplistic in a lot of ways. You know, we're not doing anything too wild, too crazy. I mean, it's very kind of uh, heavy on the text. Um, and features and maybe a little bit of graphic design here and there, but overall, you know, it could definitely be elevated. So when looking at their website, I definitely see where they have a lot of design features, little accent pieces that we could pull into our template as well. So let's go ahead and pick one to just feature and uh, maybe the green is kind of standing out to me. So I think in this particular design, I am wanting to fill in a singular feature. I mean, we could have maybe the catalog here of items, but I want to kind of drill into one singular feature here at the bottom. So on their website, I'm going to go ahead and start grabbing a few things that we can design with. Um, so when I am on the website, I'm kind of inspecting and looking around. Of course, if this is your own brand, uh, you have you know way more flexibility to kind of grab the pieces that you want because you have the assets. Here, I am just going to see if I can grab some of these so that way we could leverage them. So all I'm doing here is inspecting the code to see if I can get some of these elements here. So I see here we have our downloadable. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'll end up pulling that over into Figma. Um, we definitely want to pull in our beverage here and we do have some lifestyle imagery. Um, hopefully I can find this on a different view of the site. But if not, not a big deal. And I know we have some kind of um, kind of brand colors here. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of color pick this yellow. So I have it saved and let's also get this logo. So let's go ahead and start popping in a few things. So what's great about these templates, even if you're not a Figma pro, um, it really just takes a few goes at it. And, and honestly, you'll, you'll be in the mix of things. It's really nothing too crazy, um, especially with these templates. It's very plug and play have your asset. We can adjust it, make a few changes, going to drop these in. And then I'm going to change the background to this brand color while we're in here. So you see, we have this image here. I think we could probably pop in this lifestyle image instead. So while we have it kind of broken out like this, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. You can see that I even have a gradient there from my old version. So looking with our layers here, I'm going to move this down and then move this gradient up here. We're actually, I think in this top section, I, you know, I was going to go with the yellow, but let's go ahead and focus in on this color here. And we're just going to be adjusting this so that the gradient really kind of blends in. And of course, if this is like too advanced, you're like, what is even happening? You could even just stick with a solid color. You don't have to have it kind of blend off into a next section or anything. We're going to adjust that to zero. So we have kind of a little bit of a gradient here to make sure it's really kind of flowing. And then we do have this section here. I think what we'll do is go ahead and pull this all the way here so that our next section kind of just ends automatically. And let's I just want to center up and make this really kind of aligned there. Okay, love that. Now, of course, we could pull in the actual... Um, 
fonts as well. Just as a quick look, let's see what we're working with on their website. So I use an extension called Font Ninja. So we're going to go ahead and pull that in. And it looks like we're messing with Rock Grotesque Assistant. Let's see if we have that in here. I have a feeling we won't have it. No, Rock. Okay. So we don't have that particular font and to save us time on hunting it down, imagine you have this font and we could swap it. I think for now we'll keep it as it is, but let's go ahead and pull in some copy and edit. So they kind of have a few phrases in here. I think we could pull in like it's bimble time. We'll pull that in there and then kind of just pull in this copy. This is where we could really be customized. I think with this being the sparkling honey drink, we could even adjust some of the copy to fit that one more specifically but just so we can get the vibe of how quickly we can get these edited and ready to go as emails. I just want to showcase that. And then for colors, I'm just going to match this up with that just so it's a bit more on the right color spectrum there. All right, and then we have this bottom section here. I'm going to lock this so that way I can move this whole section up here. And I'm tempted here too. I mean, we have this like great blue color. We could technically fade it into this bottom section. So let's experiment with this a bit. So we're just going to adjust and I just want to make sure there's not like a harsh line. There's is a little bit, but that is where we have this great fade. I'm going to pull it up and same thing as what we just did. I'm going to adjust this so that way we can get a nice gradient happening. So that, that line isn't as harsh. So when we pull that up, it kind of melted away that harsh line. So it kind of looks like a really kind of streamlined design, right? It goes right into the next section. Okay. And then with this, we can come in. So we have our little bimble cup here. It's not transparent. So we can edit that if you have Canva, um, those pieces. But the issue is we have this like one um, MGTHC. So let's see if we can edit it without it kind of cutting out. So one I like to use is like a quick one is Pixel Cut AI. Sometimes it's a bit more um, cleaner than using Canva. There we go. Because sometimes Canva will try to remove that, which this one did it pretty cleanly. So we are going to shrink this a bit. And then in Pixel Cut, I'm also going to add in a shadow. So this is great because it kind of adds in a bit more um, complexity to your design. So it doesn't look like just like a cut out piece. It actually has some depth to it. All right, cool. We have that. We're going to pop that in. Awesome. Where we have this beverage is where we're going to put our drink here. We do need to change our background accent though. So let's take a look on the Bimble site and see what we can find. All right. I think what we could do, we'll go ahead and save this one and then we'll just kind of zoom in. I think quality might be a bit uh, funky here, but let's see what we can do. So here we're going to come over to place an image and then with my image, I'm going to pop that in there and then we're going to just adjust the crop and see if we can kind of get a bit more of a nice tabletop. Maybe that might work. Honestly, having more of like a melon effect too might be worth it. I think that's where maybe we could explore using something like uh, mid journey. Like if we need just like a texture or just more imagery, we could also scout their Instagram. That's always a good choice too. So maybe we had something that looks like I'm picturing like a whole bunch of um, fruit that really kind of matches the vibe. But if we don't have it, it's fine. We'll, we'll make do. Okay, this one actually is kind of great because it has the cucumber melon there. But if we had that as an image, it would be so much better. Okay, perfect. I think I found exactly what I wanted, which is this nice zoomed in cucumber, which is going to work great. So I'm just here on Instagram. I'm going to grab this image here and we're going to toss that into our design. Perfect. So it's a bit more on brand a bit more fitting to what we're designing here and then we don't have to have it be too like i want them to be clear that it's yeah i'm not i'm feeling that i'm liking it okay so with our accent colors oh actually we're having a little bit of cropping here let me adjust this one just a tad more just so we can get the edge there and you know what we'll center it okay i'll go with that perfect Alrighty, and then we have this accent color here. I think this is where we could come in and use their actual brand color here. 
And then where is our honeycomb? I know we downloaded that. Let's go ahead and pop that in. So I think this is where we can really add some um, dimension here. So we could pop that in to this section. So that way we have call like almost like a sprinkling to your design. So that way it adds a little bit more um, texture, more dimension. Pull this up. Sorry, this is like so hard to read, but we haven't edited the font quite yet. So I'm going to mark this to be, I want it to be this color. And then let's go ahead and grab our section here. And I'm just going to pull this up. So that way we have our section starting right away there. And then we do have this footer, which, you know, is totally customizable as far as like in your email programs. I would make sure you're building that piece in there. But just to kind of showcase the format itself, we uh, popped one in to here just to show you kind of where it could end in your series. Okay, so let's see if we have any reviews to work with. Let's go back. Okay, so we have some great reviews here. Copying it is a bit tricky since it's in this module, but I'm just going to inspect it and we'll copy this and pull it in. And I'm just gonna center this piece up. And I usually like, in some of my designs I like, which is why we have it outlined this way, we like to pull in like a big like takeaway quote because sometimes people don't wanna read through a whole review. <laughs> so having like a little takeaway quote at the top is awesome. Let's see. Let's see if we can find one that maybe has a really good, this one might work actually, after searching for a healthy alternative. Maybe let's give this one a try because I think we could pull out a nice headline quote. So if we pull that out and maybe we just pull in a good, like makes me feel relaxed and we'll center that up. And just to help with redundancy, we'll pull that in. Okay, perfect. And then let's make sure we have our quote Kelly B. Then for our CTA, we can kind of go about, you know, choose your flavor, which is kind of a CTA I see on their site. With the white against this, I think it might get a tad loss. So I'm gonna pull in this let's see with white how that looks oh we can keep black and then imagine we have our footer there and then for this they had this on their site as well we'll go word on the street and then for layering i think i'm gonna pull this behind and then let's see maybe kind of have one more here but a little bit larger. Okay, perfect. And I'm just gonna adjust the selection colors on this one. It's just a small difference, but still. Okay, actually I love that quote because we do have our logo there. So kind of saying bimble twice might be a bit too much. Let's pop this up. And then with our font size, you can always adjust this to make sure you have it exactly as you have, but I think we can reduce it just a tad. Awesome. And for a CTA, I always love a CTA that is not like obvious. <laughs> so instead of saying uh, shop now, we're gonna do unwind without worries and pull that in. Okay guys, we have our real quick email <laughs> updated here. So we have kind of what they've been sending out as like a reference. So just featuring kind of the static images. They have a review here too with a little B. Ooh, we could add a little B. That could be cute too. Uh, but just kind of having our main CTA area here, a little bit of intro copy with a nice lifestyle image blends into the next section where we can do a review on a specific flavor. And that's our email. So guys, I hope that was helpful. Just running through a quick little design update. If you're not in the idea inbox, I highly recommend you join us. That way you're in for next month's releases. And if you want access to all the prior months, I have that in there too. So if you want to sign up and say, yeah, give me all of the past month's releases, which at this point, oh my gosh, we have over a year, a year of releases inside the idea inbox. So you can get access to a year's worth of three templates per month. So that's a lot of templates. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.